up, everyone? This is not finance. Oh, I was about to say this is. <clears throat> Restart. What's up, everyone? This is not financial advice. I am not a financial advisor, so don't base anything I say off these videos. I am just doing it for pure entertainment purposes only because, this, I mean, if you're coming to YouTube for financial advice, you're not, don't do that. Um, but I'm going to just ruin my channel real quick. Everyone's probably going to hate me after this, so be prepared. Um, so, Monster, I really need this sponsor before everyone else subscribes and I don't make any money off my page. Oh, wait, I don't make no money. I don't make no money off it anyways. Okay, cool. So, here it goes. Adam Aaron. Everyone hates him. Not everyone. A lot of people seem to hate him. Um, he did do some shady shit, I believe. But I don't think he did the shady shit to destroy the company. Now, he's doing what a CEO does. He's trying to bring his company up um but i don't think he's doing it to like make us all millionaires it's the on his checklist it's probably make money for myself i'm just pretend pretend i'm adam aaron right now okay my checklist as adam aaron um hypothetically this is not obviously i don't know for sure but i would think it would say something like make myself money make my family money to survive save the company so the company can survive and make me more money. Sound about right? What I mean, all of us want to make money. So I, I can't really fault the dude for wanting to make money. Um, I don't necessarily think he wants to screw us over. But I think the way the shorts have fucked up the play, if he doesn't do what he's doing, I think this it would it would it would fuck us worse. Screw us worse. I can't. Stop, I gotta stop swearing. It would mess us up worse just because. The company would be gone. We wouldn't make money. He wouldn't make money. No one in there would make money. So, the mo the more I've looked at this from a different perspective, I feel like he's doing us doing CEO stuff. His first obligation isn't to make us rich. It is to keep shareholders happy, and I think he's done somewhat. But to say that he's trying to destroy the company doesn't it just doesn't it d doesn't make sense because he is doing things that make the company survive. You know, um, some of those backdoor deals that were you know you know with Ontario and all that. It was kind of shitty, but the timing was shitty. But I understand looking at it like he did it to make money. Um, also, if you look at like he, not just him personally, the board, whoever is in charge of this, they brought out the um, popcorn through Walmart. That's a good deal. That's through Walmart. Walmart is Walmart's Walmart. There ain't nothing like that Walmart money. <laughs> um, and now the gourmet candy coming out. They've done things with the theaters. They've bought more theaters to try to bring in more revenue um so i'm not up as i'm not as i'm not up as arse i'm not like oh i love adam aaron but i from a perspective a different perspective of just instead of just being mad like adam aaron did this he screwed us and nah, 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 now we're gonna boycott amc if we boycott amc and you get rid of amc and you don't want to support amc in essence you're messing up your own investment because the money don't come in. They're going to have to do more deals like that. You know what I mean? To get money in and guess where it comes out of the shareholders. So I do think if, if it was only for us, it could have been done differently, but I, I understand trying to save the company. I get it. I don't think he's trying to sabotage and make the company go bankrupt or it would have already happened. He could have easily done that already. There's certain things. I know there's conspiracy theories like they turn the heat up in uh, Sound of Freedom. I don't believe that shit. I really don't because I went to Sound of Freedom and it was nice and crispy cool. As a matter of fact, my wife brought a blanket because it was too cool. Monster, hurry up and sponsor me because I know some dude's about to be mad at me for this. But I've just had to speak my truth, man. Speak my opinion on it. I don't I don't love the man. I'm not like, oh, yes, all right. But I don't think that he's as villainous as we're making him seem. I feel like smoke and mirrors whoever's on the other side the hedgies are kind of like oh look at this guy look what he did <laughs> and we're innocent clean boom gone you know what i mean but they're not gone they're just oh shit we're still down here ah that's what, <laughs> they're gonna get busted one of these times so don't hate don't hate me for saying it this is my opinion um could he have handled things better probably um Especially for us shareholders, you know, but we could have been millionaires by now. But I, I think his fear is we jump out and we're gone and the company's gone forever, blah, blah, blah. Now, I can't speak 100% for another man. I don't know what he's thinking. Maybe he does work for hedge funds and maybe I'm completely wrong and he's out to shut the company down and, like, <laughs> run off like a villain. I don't know. Could be. But my personal opinion is he's out for himself and the company. Us... 
we're just kind of we're down there we're on the list probably somewhere like keep shareholders you know but not make shareholders millionaires so they run away that's just my thoughts have a good day let's get rich soon